This is the braid and it's driven by equations. I believe some of the most beautiful things in nature and that humans make come from mathematical constructs. And so I wanted to do a braid. I wanted to make the model of a braid in NX. And so I started thinking about the math that drives it. And when I looked at it, when I look at a top view, it would appear that what I have is three sinusoids that are out of phase by 120 degrees. So I could start with one that looks like this. That's one period. You can keep going for as many periods as I want. And then 120 degrees later, I start with another one. That ends up looking like this. And then one more starts here, 120 degrees. And that's what I see when I look at this braid. I see a sinusoid, I see another sinusoid, and another sinusoid, and then they interlock. So my theory is that if I represent three sinusoids uh, from a, from a let's, let's call it a downward facing view. So I've got, this is the x-axis, and let's say that's the z-axis. And then in the xy plane, this is y, I have another set of sinusoids, but I've got to be careful because from here to there is one period. And when I look at a side view, it seems like you have up, down, up, down, up, down a lot faster. And my theory is that these sinusoids are the same. There's three sinusoids that are out of phase by 120 degrees, but they are going twice as fast. So they look like this. There's one, two, one, two, and one, two. So my theory is, I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try it, is if I superimpose this over that, then I will get this to happen. Now, I'll define some variables, like the diameter of the cord will be D, and the dimension from here to here will be B, and the dimension from here to the dimension from there to let's say halfway is A. I'm not sure if that's going to be working out. I'm assuming that A equals B over 2. And then I'll assume that this height right here is D over 2 because we have D is the diameter of the chord, right? And so if I write the equations for these and write the equations for those and superimpose them, then uh, that should work. Now, when I do the, uh, the, uh, this sinusoid, the next sinusoid will be the same thing uh, plus uh, 120 degrees, and then the next one will be plus 240 degrees. And so that's the basis for the equations that I will write. And we'll do a combined curve projection, and we'll do three tubes, and we'll see if it works out. So this is fun, and it will prove that math is behind some of the coolest shapes that we encounter on a daily basis. If I could represent this braid, then I'll be able to uh, also represent weaves and all sorts of other patterns. So as you can see, the model was successful. I have a braid that I can just uh, keep going with. And I'd like to show you quickly how I built it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn the model back to the first feature and that was a sine curve that I made with a law curve. So that was the first one. The next one is 120 degrees away from that. The next one is 120 degrees away from that. So there's three 
sinusoids that really represent basically the top view of this braid. Then on the side view, I have a sinusoid that goes twice as fast, and another one, and another one. So those three, those six sinusoids are the basis of what is happening with this braid. Top view, side view. Then I do a combined curve projection, make current feature, make current feature, make current feature. There you go. I can now hide these and show you that we basically have the braid pattern. So that's so cool. And then I basically just made tubes around all of them. And here they are. I had defined the variables. Here's my variables. There's a whole bunch of them. There's, there's B, there's A, um, there's um, this M1, M2, M3. That is the um, way I increment the splines. This E is a dimension that I use to uh, change the phase of the splines. And then there's a number of equations for the other, the splines in the, um, that are parallel to the XY plane. So there we go. And then finally, I uh, patterned the whole thing so that I get as many of these things as I want. And there you have it, a beautiful braid. Um, the, the next thing I'll do is write the equation so I can make them uh, curve around each other. <laughs> That'll be awesome. So math, beauty, uh, the different shapes that we encounter, um, it's all uh, wonderful. Um, if you want this model, um, there will be a link that you can click on below. Uh, we can give you the native NX file so that you can really study the expressions that um, I had to write to make this happen. There they all are. And uh, <clears throat> there's a step so file and there's a parasolid file. And um, you can find them on the Design Visionaries website, www.designviz.com. I hope you enjoy this model and I hope you enjoy representing um, all sorts of mathematical functions and uh, things in nature, things that uh, are man-made, just, you know, in general, uh, the fact that you can drive your models with math uh, is really powerful, and NX is an amazing tool. Thank you very much.